Hey everyone, it's Janelle with Cumberland Valley Martial Arts and Yoga Center. How is everyone this evening? I thought I'd just come to you with a little bit of an aerial flow with the hammock this evening. So if you have a hammock and you want to jump in and get started with me, we'll work on this together. So we're going to start by coming in the hammock. Just go ahead and take your hammock on each side, give it a nice big shake, find both ends. Once you have that, you're going to drop the end towards the back of the room, keep a hold of the end towards the front of the room, step in front of the hammock, and then you're going to start to gather a good seven gathers of hammock in each hand, just so you have about half of the hammock in your hand. You may notice that I take a peek over um, towards the mirrors in the room just to make sure I'm set up okay throughout the video. From there, I'm going to step back under the plumb line, press down, lift my bottom in, bring that hammock back to my knees, sitting up nice and tall. You may even want to grab up and adjust and come back down. From there, we're going to go ahead and bring our legs inside the hammock and come into Baddha Konasana or butterfly. Soles of the feet together, knees just dripping out to each side. Hands can rest right on the feet or you can bring them on the knees wherever they feel comfortable. Taking a few of our warming breaths to get started. So if you feel comfortable with closing your eyes, you can go ahead and start to close your eyes and we'll just start to take a few cleansing breaths, allowing for the back to stay nice and tall. And we'll inhale through the nose and exhale out the mouth. Taking about two more of those breaths at your own pace. As you bring the breath in and you exhale that breath out for that third cleansing breath, just let those shoulders relax. Back stays nice and tall even as we exhale the breath out. And from here, we're going to go ahead and start right into warming up the back, bringing the hands to the feet. Taking a nice full breath, inhaling, bringing heels in towards the body, shoulders pressed down and back, crown of the head reaches up towards the ceiling. Nice full deep breath in. And then from there, we're going to exhale, bringing the breath out the nose as we start to allow the legs to make a diamond shape, allowing for the body to hinge forward, gazing right between the legs towards the hammock. Crown of the head reaches forward. Inhaling in as we arch the back, shoulders pressed down. Exhaling as we round the back. Chin can even roll into chest if that feels good. Inhaling up and exhaling round. Next breath in, bringing it in through the nose and exhaling out through the nose. From there, we'll release the hands from the feet, starting to let the legs come out the front of the hammock, resting right behind the knees. Again, you can always reach up to adjust if you feel like you're slouching and back is not nice and tall. Taking a nice full breath, we're going to inhale, hands up overhead. Breath comes in and we're going to turn to the right hand side of the room. Nice full breath. One arm comes out the front, one out the back. And as we back shoulder, arms can drift down towards the mat or they can stay in that T-shape, whatever feels good to you. Inhaling back up. If you want to take a mini gaze up without throwing the head back, full breath in. Exhaling, releasing opposite side of the room. Inhaling back to center. As you start traveling through these at your own pace, know that you can always stay to one side if it feels really good by taking that front arm, reaching it right above the knee on the thigh, on the side that you're twisting on. And we keep the back nice and tall even when we exhale. Inhaling, lengthen. Exhaling, twisting. Finding one more on each side, full breath in. Exhale. Inhaling to center. And exhale, release. And then bringing arms up overhead, releasing down towards the leg and just taking one full breath in the nose and releasing out the nose. From here, we're going to come right into our lateral stretches. And that way, we'll have all directions of the spine warmed up. So to do that, we're going to bring that hammock back overhead, stretch it out almost like a shawl. And as you lay down, you're going to go ahead and make sure the head is inside the hammock. Legs can stay out. Hands are going to reach out the back of the hammock. You can either bend at the elbows and just from the elbows to the wrist, let the hands relax, or you can bring the hands inside of the hammock, stretching out nice and long, whatever feels comfortable to you. 
From there, we're going to take a nice full breath in. We're going to start to press both of the arms with interlaced fingers towards the right side of the room. As you do that, you'll start to feel the legs follow and you'll bring the body into a C shape. Nice full breath in and release it out right there. As you take your next breath in, we'll come back to center, reaching out behind, full breath in and exhale now towards the opposite side of the room. Inhaling back to center. Exhaling, release. One more inhale back to center. And exhale, release. Meeting back to center for one more on each side, changing up the breath work. As we take our next breath in, we're going to bring it the whole way in as we transition to the right side of the room. You can even take that right arm and wrap it around the left wrist and give just a little more extension into that lateral stretch. And releasing with breath back to center and taking it to that opposite side. Breath comes in nice and deep to the bottom of the belly. We reach up. Again, with that left arm pulling on the right wrist gently, nice long stretch from shoulder, rib cage, and maybe even into the hip. And releasing breath back to center. From there, we're going to come into bat. And you should be pretty much set up for bat. You may need to readjust just a little bit. So we'll come up, we'll remake that shawl, and this time the shawl is just going to come to the shoulders. As we lay down, take a nice full breath making sure shoulders are covered. From here, I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna turn in my hammock just so that you can see the correct placement for the bat pose on the body. So as I turn around, just keeping my back towards you, but knowing that I'm gonna show you the right way to get set up for bat and the most safe way. So again, we're gonna make the shawl. We're gonna lay down. And as we lay down, we wanna do that little cross check. Notice I don't have too much hammock bunched up here, just enough to, so that my shoulders are in. I'm gonna bring my hands up, one on each side, bring the knees into the chest, bring the outsides of the feet pressing into the hammock. If you feel like your core or your core strength is not up to par or be able to get you to release up in this pose, then you can always go ahead and hook the heels in. Take a nice full breath, 50-50 core, and pressing up on the exhale, we're gonna glide up the hammock, coming into bat. From there, I want you just to take a little movement around with the neck, making sure that it is not too much. If you would have too much, you just come back down, reposition the neck, and then come back up. From there, you can try a little balance by bringing the hands nice and tight around the hammock on each side, and then feet come together at center. Maybe a few full breaths right there, and then maybe you can start to, if balance feels pretty good, start to come into a little bit of an inverted split, releasing one leg forward, one back, maybe even playing with a little bent knee, knowing that that does change up the balance. So working through whatever feels good to you, coming back to center. If you start to feel a lot of pressure in the head and face, remember the energy and blood throw is going in the opposite direction. So you can always inhale through the nose and exhale steady and slow out the mouth. Doing those a few times should help with that pressure. When you feel comfortable in the back and you feel like your body's been moved and released with the breath, nice and slowly, you're gonna start to let the bottom come back down into the hammock legs just start to reach out the front and this part of the hammock that's at your neck you're just going to pull it up so that the head has a little rest arms can reach out the back side and just start to come into some warming breath right there i have my legs dangling out the hammock but you're always welcome to be more comfortable and bring the legs inside for a nice long stretch with the legs as you just allow the energy and blood flow to catch up from the inversion once you feel comfortable with that and the breath work feels good, you can go ahead and release that hammock back to the shoulders. Now it doesn't matter how much we have here because instead of going up, we're gonna do a flip out now. So as long as I have my shoulders covered, my hands do not leave the hammock at all. I'm gonna hold on, I'm gonna bring the knees into the chest and in essence, it's just a backward somersault, holding on the whole time as you start to release. Feet to the mat, notice I'm still holding on in case I lose my balance. 
nice and steady and slow gliding the body up. Once you feel good from that, then you can release from the hammock. Take a nice full breath right there. If you're feeling dizzy or off balance, always holding on to the hammock, you can walk your feet out just like you're walking back and forth. Or again, taking that full breath in the nose and out the mouth will help start to settle the mind. If for any reason you start to really get dizzy through your flow, I recommend you just coming down to the mat and just allowing for your hands to find the mat and take a few breaths right there, centering the mind. So from here, we're gonna come right into our wrist wrap. We're gonna bring the hands out, palms together, releasing from pinky, ring finger. Once you release all hands and fingers from each other, you're gonna go ahead and grab a hold of that hammock that puts you in the wrist wrap. Wider is more balanced control. Closer together is more of a balanced challenge. So I say let's start at shoulder distance till we see where our standing balance is for this evening. So from here, we're going to take a nice full breath. We're going to take a step or two back and we're going to come into what's called our nice long release from the hips into that halfway lift to the crown of the head. So my arms are nice and long, crown of the head's reaching forward. Legs are nice and straight but not locked. Feel on the stretch from the hamstrings and we'll take a nice little release flow here. So let's inhale right here and on the exhale we're going to bend the knees, keeping them back behind the toes, bend the elbows, gazing forward, hands come in towards the body, full breath in and release it out. Next inhale, let's come right back into that halfway lift, nice deep breath. Again, hips press back, long spine, exhale, bend the knees, bend the elbows, gazing forward. Taking one more of those, nice full deep breath in. And exhale, release. As you release, coming right back to that halfway lift, nice and slowly, we're gonna roll the body up. From here, we're gonna take the right leg, let's bring it forward. Left leg comes back almost like you're in a little modified runner's lunge. And you can take that leg and walk it back as far as you feel comfortable. Just take notice of that front knee stays stacked over the ankle so that we protect that knee. Take a nice full breath from there. We're gonna come up into the ball of the foot of that back leg, that base leg. And on the exhale, that left leg, we're gonna travel it down towards the mat. If you can get that heel towards the mat, that's what we're working for. Just getting a nice deep stretch. Front leg doesn't move. Just keeping us for balance, inhaling up exhaling heel towards mat if it don't get there that's okay just working through your breath inhaling up exhaling down as you take your next breath we're going to come into a little bit of a warrior three balance challenge so as we take our next full breath we're going to hinge forward in the hammock nice full breath we're going to lift the back leg up and we're going to come up and balance on that front leg heel is going to lead the way Toes are pointed down, nice long back, nice long spine, arms reach out nice and long. Next full breath, let's bend that front leg coming back down into that modified runner's lunge. As you work through this, if you find that your balance is off, you can always go a little wider. And if you feel like your balance is really good, you can always come a little closer to challenge that balance. Now let's take it a little deeper and flow out just a little bit more. So wherever your arms are, find that position that feels good for you. Inhale, back leg up. From here, back leg's gonna come down. Once that back leg comes down, that's gonna become our base leg. We're gonna hinge back, elbows in towards the body. Front leg comes up, knee bends, bringing the thigh in towards the belly. Full breath, inhaling back up. And exhaling, bring it back. One more, inhaling back up. This time, let's come back and see if we can find a little bit of a chair pose. Crossing that front leg right over top of that back leg. Nice full breath. And just like you're doing a pull up, bring the body up, reposition down, back leg kicks up for one more balance. Maybe you even feel good with that balance and you wanna bring that leg around. Shifting back, knee bends, coming back up. Both legs come together, nice full breath. We'll switch right away, finding the runner's lunge on the opposite side. Again, coming up onto the ball of that back foot, that back leg, exhale, drift down. Inhaling back up, front leg stays steady. Exhale, back down. Next breath, we're gonna inhale up and find that three full breath. 
warrior three, arms out nice and long. Again, heel leads the way. Find your balance, whether arms need to be wider or closer together. And then releasing down. Back is nice and tall. Inhaling up. Now, since we did that first side, you know where we're going. So this next time we come forward, we're going to take that full breath in. Inhale back up. Drop that back leg down and let's find that flow. Bring it back up. If you want a little more arm work, as you come back, straighten the arms and then pull up. For this third one, we'll find that chair again, a little bit of hip work with the arm work, drifting down. Staying here as long as it feels comfortable. Just remember you need that energy to bring the body back up. Releasing up. Full breath back to center. Nice deep breath. From there, we'll release the arms from the wrist strap and then just take a few shoulder rolls. Nice. From there, nice full breath. Hammock is in front of us. We're going to get ready to come into our hip hang. So we're going to grab that hammock. We're going to press down. We want that hammock to come right where we hinge at the hips. It may even help if you come up onto your tiptoes. Once you settle that in there, you're going to start to hinge forward. Your body will become the spot for the hammock as you release your hands towards the mat. Take a nice full breath. See if you can start to press that mat away. So you're just like you're pressing your hands into the mat and pressing the mat towards me. As you do that, you'll get a little more lengthening in the spine. Take a nice full breath. From there, we're gonna go ahead and hinge the legs out just a little, little bit. That right hand's gonna come right under the nose. Left hand's gonna release on our next inhale. We're gonna reach up nice and high for a little bit of twisting down dog. Bring the breath the whole way in, looking up towards that arm or straight towards that opposite side of the room, bringing the breath in. On the exhale, we're gonna come under the body, palm facing up as we gaze now, right where the hand's going. Inhaling up, exhaling as we release. Inhaling up, and this time as we exhale, we're gonna come under the arm and see if we can make connection with that right ankle, maybe calf muscle. Take a nice full breath in. And using support, we're going to take a nice deep breath in, bend that elbow and let the head reach down. Maybe you can look under the armpit towards the right side of the room. Take a nice full breath. This is a great place to inhale through the nose and exhale out the mouth, releasing toxins in the twist. As you take your next breath, inhaling left arm up overhead. Exhaling, that becomes our base arm. Right away, right arm comes up. We gaze up towards that right side of the room. And exhale under the body, gazing right over the shoulder towards the left side of the room. Inhaling up. Exhaling, release. Inhaling up. And on this one, again, we're going to find that connection with that left leg giving us support without cranking, just giving us a nice little support there as we start to bend that right elbow and gaze under the left arm, coming into that twisting down dog. Full deep breath in and exhale out. Next breath, releasing the arm, bringing it up overhead. Both arms come down to the mat. We're going to bend the legs and now lift those legs wide and high. From there, we're going to press the mat away. We want to keep the legs as wide as we can so that we can keep ourselves safely in the hammock. Take a few nice ankle rolls, point and flex the toes, just allowing the inversion to catch up. Inhaling through the nose, steady, slow exhale out the mouth. And then from there, a nice full breath. Hands are nice and long, pressing the mat away. Nice big inhale. On the exhale, we're going to stack shoulders over wrist and bring those knees right in underneath the body. Inhaling, press the mat away. Legs go wide and high. Exhale, knees under the body in nice and strong. Shoulders stack over wrist. Inhaling back out. Nice full breath. Exhaling, shoulders over wrist. And one more. Inhaling back out. 
And this time as we come shoulder stacked over the wrist, see if you can bring the soles of your feet together. Take a nice full breath right there and then exhale. Start to let gravity find those knees and just let them start to drift down towards the mat. Take a nice full breath in, gazing towards the mat as you exhale that breath out. On your next inhale, we're gonna press that mat away again. Take those legs wide and high. And then from there, stacking the shoulders over the wrist as those hands find the mat. Nice and slowly, start to walk the hands back towards the feet and ever so slowly start to glide the body up. Steady and slow. Again, always holding on to the hammock if you feel like you have too dizzy or feel a little bit of a balance challenge coming up from that inversion. So hopefully the hips are feeling pretty good now. We'll go ahead and get ready to come into our leg series, work those hips a little bit more. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and take the leg on the right hand side. We're gonna bring the leg into the hammock and we're gonna bring it right towards the ankle. So the foot will be out. And if you start to flex your foot, pulling the toes back, that'll give you a little more support in the hammock and a little more balance support. This back leg's about at a 45 degree and we always keep the knee soft. Just in case we would lose our balance, we're not locking the leg out. Finding our balance, knowing that any time that you're working with your leg in, you can always hold on to the hammock if balance is an issue for that class or for that practice. It happens to all of us. So always be done by holding on safely and still getting the best stretch. So from here, if you're feeling pretty good about it, we're gonna go ahead and bend the leg, coming parallel across the body. And if you notice as I did that, that changed the position of my hammock. So I want that hammock to be right under the plumb line. So I'm just hopping forward just a little bit more. So I have this little X shape with the hammock. From here, I'm gonna take a nice full breath in. And as I exhale, all I'm gonna start to do is shift forward, keeping that base leg nice and flat on the mat. You'll start to fill it into your hips right away. Take a nice big inhale, coming back to center. When you're working in the hips, that's another great place to exhale out the mouth to release toxins. We hold a lot of toxins and a lot of stress and tension in our hips. So it's nice to release them whenever we can. Taking a nice full breath in, exhale it out. As we take our next breath, we're gonna come in. And now you can always stay right there with that back leg placed flat on the mat or when your body's ready, maybe you want a little more release in the hips. So you hinge forward and start to come up onto the ball of that base leg. If you're feeling pretty good about your balance, maybe you start to play with your balance a little bit by releasing hands from the hammock, but knowing that this is always a safe place to be. Coming back to center, nice full breath. As we take our next breath, let's take a little bit of a twist. So we're gonna inhale up, nice full breath. From there, we're gonna go ahead and exhale. Front arm comes to the outside of the hammock. Back arm's gonna to come to the sacrum, palm facing out. And we'll just take a nice full deep breath right there. And on your next inhale, release. Leg comes out nice and long, and we'll just take that in that opposite direction. Again, holding on versus balance challenge. And then from there, we'll go ahead and bring the hammock behind the knee onto the thigh. Again, just repositioning under that plumb line. Nice full breath. Let's go ahead and take a little flow. So we're gonna inhale our arms out nice and wide. And we're gonna bring that leg in, toes pointing down. I like to call this flamingo pose. So we'll take a nice full breath in. And on the exhale, we're gonna transition. We're gonna come forward. Palms are gonna come together and we'll flex that front foot. Again, drifting down into the hips, inhaling back in, nice and tall. Exhaling, release out. The next two, inhaling in, I'll do holding on. And exhaling, drift out. Inhaling back to center. Exhale, release. and then allowing the body to come back in. From there, we're gonna go ahead and release the leg, bring it out of the hammock and just take a little shift from side to side, feeling the difference in the hips. 
and then we'll come right back inside the hammock, same position behind the knee on the thigh. Right hand's gonna come to the left side of the hammock. That back leg, that base leg, we're gonna come up and roll on the ball of the foot to protect the knee. So we're gonna take that same flow, but now we'll be going from tree out to hip release. So one hand comes through the front, giving us a little bit of a warrior two pose in the hammock with the back arm coming back nice and long, gazing towards the front. From here, we're gonna go ahead and take a nice full breath in and see if we can start to find a little modified tree by bringing the foot in along that base leg, not necessarily touching it, just bringing it in beside. Full breath in. Palms can come to heart center to release the shoulders. We're gonna take a nice full breath, bringing the arms back up, inhaling and exhaling, drifting out. When you drift out, go ahead and flex that front foot for balance. Inhaling back in, exhaling, release out. So one arm stays to the outside and around the hammock and it meets up palms together. Inhaling back up, exhaling, release out. And inhaling back up, nice full breath. From there, we're gonna go ahead and bring both hands to the hammock. Again, rolling onto the ball of that back leg to protect the foot bringing the leg out, and from here we'll come into a little modified wrist strap. Legs are gonna go wide, take a nice full breath, and we're just gonna bend the knee to the right, drift down, inhaling back up, using the arms for support, and just working out through the legs. Bringing it back to center. Feel pretty good about that, heel toe those feet back, and let's give it a try on the other side. So now left leg's gonna come in, and we're gonna start with that parallel, that pigeon stretch. So once you have your leg in, you may need to reposition so that the hammock is coming right down from the plumb line. Take that nice full breath, again, soft leg on that back leg, meaning knee gently soft, not locked. Nice full breath. And for that first one, let's just start to hinge forward, starting to fill it in the hip, seeing where it is on this side of the body. Back leg stays nice and flat, so the foot on the mat. Inhaling back to center. Exhaling out. Inhaling back to center. And for this last one, if you're feeling pretty good, maybe you start to drift forward, take a breath, and then start to raise up onto the ball of that base leg. And again, maybe you wanna challenge your balance. Taking a nice full breath as you come back in, coming back to center. And from there, we'll go ahead and straighten that leg out again and just take it in that opposite direction for a few flows. And as we come back to center again, we're gonna bring the leg through, setting us up for a little modified warrior one. A little flow from here, so we're gonna come right into that flamingo flow. We're gonna inhale, arms out. Shoulders are relaxed, full breath in. On the exhale, we're gonna flex that foot, shift forward, palms come together. Inhaling, nice and tall. Exhale, release. Inhaling, nice and tall. Exhale, release. Next two, again, holding on. So inhaling in for balance control. Exhaling, drifting out. And inhaling in, exhaling out. The next time that you come back in, nice full breath. We'll go ahead and lift the leg out just for a moment. It's nice to feel the difference in the hips and to fill maybe those areas of tightness that you wanna work a little more breath in as we work through that warrior two flow with the leg in the hammock. So when you're ready, you're gonna bring that leg back in. Left hand's gonna find right side of the hammock. And again, we're gonna roll onto that base leg, setting us up for a warrior two flow in the hammock. So we'll start to bring that leg, toes pointed down, the leg that's in the hammock, little modified tree. And on the exhale, we're gonna flex that foot. Again, dropping into the hips, palms come together. Inhaling back up, exhaling, release. For these last two, I'll hold on. So front arm will hold on for balance if you need it. And then as you exhale out, you'll just bring that one hand to heart center. So same stretching, just a little more careful with the balance. Inhaling back in, 
Once you feel good about that, both hands are gonna come onto the hammock. Again, we're gonna roll onto that base leg, releasing out, and from here, taking that modified wrist strap. Let's go ahead and hinge forward and just take a little flow from side to side. Just allowing for those leg stretches and hip stretches to catch up to the body, seeing how everything feels. It's nice to take that mini scan after each flow just to see where the body is. And then from there, coming up nice and slow. We're gonna go ahead and take the hammock overhead, bringing us into our rib hang. So hammock's just gonna hang behind the back. We're gonna reach the arms up nice and tall. Legs are hip distance apart. Body's gonna stay tall and strong like a surfboard. We're gonna start to come up onto the heels and we're just gonna allow ourselves to release back into the hammock. You want that hammock to come right about shoulder blades. So right under those shoulder blades is a good spot and it may ride up through the practice. So in other words, if you come into chair and this starts to happen, always know that you can wiggle that hammock and shimmy it right back into that spot. Sometimes clothing and things tend to get our, our hammock starting to glide up a little too far and it can rub into the shoulder. So know that that's always an option. Once you come here, I'm gonna take a nice full breath in. Bring those hands up onto the hammock. Let's take our next breath in. Body is strong, core is engaged. And on the exhale, all we're gonna do is start to drop the hips towards the mat. Back is gonna stay pressed into the hammock. It's gonna give us a nice little push-pull release into the back. Start to release, inhaling back up, nice and strong. So as we're in this position, body stays strong. Shoulders are into the sockets. Exhale, release hips down. Inhaling back up. As you take your next full breath in, we're gonna start to walk towards the plumb line. As we do that, that's gonna bring us into our chair pose. Hinging at the hips, knees are gonna stack over the ankles. And in this position, the back is pressed into the hammock as gravity's working on the tailbone, on that root chakra, and it's starting just to allow each vertebrae to start to release with each breath. So holding for two more breaths. Let's take a little bit of a core flow here and a little back release. So from here, all we're gonna do is start to let the legs straighten, let the arms reach out nice and wide and come into that little release, a little bit of a back bend. And on the exhale, we're gonna come right back into the chair, bring those palms together. They're gonna come outside the front of the hammock to heart center, inhaling open, gazing towards the ceiling, not to throw the neck back, exhale, release. Each time you release, think about that tailbone and gravity starting to work together and just making the back nice and long. As we take our next breath, we'll come into full back bend. Now let's interlace the hands behind the head, allowing ourselves to have pointer and thumbs released out nice and long, giving a nice full breath, core is engaged, and just taking a nice little side to side movement here. A little bit of a twist, a little bit of a lateral all in one. As you twist, maybe you start to drop the hips engaging back to center, opposite side, dropping the hips, engaging back to center, full breath in, exhale, finding our chair. From here, let's go ahead and take and heel toe that left leg to center, right leg's gonna come across. I like to reach down and give a little pull so that it's on the thigh and not on the knee. And then from doing that, you've probably tightened and tensed up the back. So take a nice deep breath and just let gravity work on that tailbone again. Nice full breath. We're gonna go ahead and let gravity help us out in a little twist with our knee. As we take the exhale, that knee's gonna start to find towards the mat. If you take your next full breath and you feel like you want a little more, you can always roll to the inside of that base leg. Just bringing the knee along for protection. You'll feel a nice long stretch on one side while you're taking and binding the side organs of the belly on the opposite side. And as you take your next breath, we'll come back to center. Release the legs, taking one full breath. And then same thing, opposite side grabbing, releasing again, dropping the tailbone down. Next full breath comes in. On the exhale, we'll start to let that knee on the left side find gravity. You'll feel a great stretch into the IT band and to those outsides of the hips, the hip flexors. Nice full breath. 
Inhaling back to center and exhale. Let's release again and again, knowing you can roll inside of that base leg, bringing the knee along for protection. Inhaling back to center, releasing both legs from there. We're gonna inhale legs nice and straight, reach back, full breath in. Exhale, find our chair, inhale right away forward. From here, we use this just like a little backpack. Nice full breath. Exhale, hinge at the hips, inhale, back bend. So notice I'm not running forward or back, I'm just moving from front of the feet to back. So back bend, heels, chair pose flat. Inhaling forward, balls of the feet. Let's take a nice little stretch from side to side, still hinging forward. Exhaling back to center, inhaling back bend, and let's exhale and find that chair. On your next breath, we're gonna reach up nice and high, do a little pull up, bring the body up, reach the arms out nice and long, and just take some airplane arms. And I'll tell you, if you take that front arm and just bend the elbow, just like you're covering up the eyes, wrapping it right around the head, you should feel a really nice release right where that hammock just was on your back. And then from there, we can just release the hammock. So we're gonna get ready to come into our final inversion. We're gonna come into our sacrum wrap. So again, I'll be facing away from you to show this so that you can see where the body is placed on the hammock. So as I come into my sacrum wrap, I want the hammock to be right about the sacrum area of my body. I usually say right about your pant line is a good spot to start. If we bring it up too high, it's going to pull into the back and we don't want that. If it's too low, then you have a chance of slipping out of the hammock and we surely don't want that. So if we bring that to the back, right about that sacrum area, we're going to take a nice full breath. We're going to start to bend the knees. We're going to start to hinge back over the hammock. As you come the hammock into the lower back, reach up nice and high, bring the legs up off the mat, take a little hover, bring those legs out wide and high, and they're going to come around the front part of the hammock and locking in. Once you do that, you can release the hands from the hammock. And then from there, you can release those hands towards the mat. You can always steady yourself if you don't like the swaying. And then again, we're just going to start to work on a few of those breaths. So inhaling through the nose, steady, slow, exhale out the mouth. Just until that pressure and dizziness subsides. This is going to feel like a really good release on the back. Now, if you do feel too much pulling there, you may have the hammock too high. If that's the case, you just look up, same way to come out. You have these two little hooks in between the knees. Legs go wide and high, and as those legs start coming forward, body comes up. And then you can just reposition and try again. Coming around the hammock. If you're feeling pretty good there, maybe you want another little bit of a leg release. So you keep that leg that's wrapped around the hammock. It locks up and the opposite leg can come out nice and long. You can bring it behind you, bending the knee. Maybe even feel good enough to reach back for the foot and take a nice deep stretch. Really good stretch for the rib cage. And then as you release out of that, that leg always comes out and around. Same thing opposite side. This time I'll keep it nice and long and bring my arms out long for candlestick, full breath. And as you take your next breath, you can always bring the hands to the mat as you reposition the legs to feel comfortable. Just always remember that when you are coming into this, legs always go wide and wrap around because if you bring them through the center and try to wrap them around that way, you have a chance of flipping out the front of the hammock. So this is what keeps you locked in. So just working on a few breaths there. It may feel good to take a few twists from here. In the sacrum, I usually allow for just a few breaths to get your mind and body used to the inversion. And then just explore what feels good to you. Maybe a little release into the shoulders. Any movements is just to add on as you're starting just to allow the back 
to find that nice gravity and release with each breath. As you work through a few more breaths, always staying here as long as the body feels comfortable. When you've had enough, you're going to bring that chin into the chest, look up, find there's two handles, legs go out wide and high, and again, coming up. And then from there, I'll come back around. I like to come out of that and just take a nice little released ragdoll that helps to just allow everything to center in. Always knowing you can walk the feet out, take those deep breaths, anything that helps to bring that blood flow and energy back to its normal direction and the body and the mind feeling good. Once you feel good with that, you can come up, allowing yourself to stay there as long as your body needs. And then from here, we're gonna get ready for Shavasana. So the hammock gets bunched up from all that twisting and things that we do. So we'll shake the hammock out. Again, reposition, take a nice full breath. Coming into the hammock, and this time we're gonna bring that hammock way up overhead again. We're gonna come in and bring the legs inside the hammock. So the whole entire body's in the hammock, making sure you feel the body released into the hammock. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and turn to our right side. Easiest way to do that is take your left hand, reach for the right side of the hammock, take a nice full breath, bend at the elbow, and you'll start to give yourself a little bit of a turn. And then just take another little position. So it's almost like if you're laying sideways in bed or on the couch, bring that hammock behind you so your arms are in nice and long. Take a nice full breath. We're going to hinge at the hips, coming into a little banana. And inhaling open. Exhaling hinge. Inhaling open. Maybe you want to even start to bring some bending into the knees, coming into a little ball. And taking that back bend where those Heels come towards the bottom, taking two more of those, cooling the breath down as we're cooling and slowing down the movements. And then from there, after a few of those, bring both hands up, reaching for each side of the hammock by the head, lift up on the hips, and I'll bring you back onto your back. Once you come onto your back, bring the soles of the feet onto the hammock as your knees reach up towards the ceiling, just like almost if you were going to stand up into the hammock. Let's take a nice full breath in. We're going to drop both knees to the left-hand side. You're going to feel the hammock catch. So to come into a little deeper twist, lift up on the hips and allow both of those knees to start to drift towards that left side. Upper body stays facing towards the ceiling as we take a nice full breath in. Exhale out. As you take your next breath, reaching up with the hands again, lifting up onto the hips, knees Drift back up towards the ceiling, breath comes in, and let's take it towards that right side. So again, dropping both knees together, lifting up on the hips, and again, dropping down. Arms can come overhead or stay inside the hammock, whatever feels better to you. Nice little release, slowing down the breath with each one of those movements. And next breath, reaching up, coming back to center. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and straighten the legs out nice and long. You can leave the arms or you can take them overhead. And I like to let from the elbows down to the wrist just dangle out the back of the hammock. So the hammock just comes right in the elbow crease. And then from here, we're going to start to allow ourselves to slow the breath down and allow our mind to wander and our body to release. We've strengthened. We've stretched. We've released, and now it's time to allow the mind to release. Allowing the body to stay steady and just noticing as you start to relax the face muscles, if you're clenching, tightening up the cheeks or the forehead, allow for your next breath to allow that to relax and release. Let the tongue fall in the mouth wherever it feels comfortable. And then from there, noticing the shoulders, the elbows, and the wrist, allowing them to become heavy. Feeling the spine and the hips. 
start to melt into the hammock. Noticing if we're holding any tension in the legs, relaxing the thighs, the knees, the whole way down to the toes. And as the body starts to release and relax, allow the mind to wonder, but not to think on one thing. If there's something that keeps coming back into your mind, find a pocket just in the back of the mind and just allow it to stay there for now. Allowing the mind just to drift and relax with each breath. allowing each breath to just allow the mind to drift and the body to release. If the body is at rest, but the mind is not relaxing, just focusing on the breath, entering and exiting the body. Allowing your body to stay right here for as long as it feels right. Starting to allow when the body is ready just for some deepening of the breath. Bringing the mind back into the room, noticing the energy within the room. And as you start to find deepening within your breath, starting to make small movements. And that could just be letting the head take a little turn from side to side, wiggling fingers and toes. So the movements and the breath become accompanying together and bringing our awareness back into the room. Maybe reaching the arms up overhead and just taking a long all over body stretch from fingers to toes. 
any movements that feel good to you and your body as you start to release and come back into the energy within the room and hammock. Whenever the body is ready, nice and slowly, we'll start to let the legs come out the front of the hammock. So the hammock rests behind the knees. And from there, we'll reach up, one hand on each side of the hammock, bringing the body up to seated, meeting shared energy together, bringing palms to heart center, keeping the eyes closed if possible. Let's go ahead and share in one final breath to close class. Inhaling hands up overhead. And exhaling out the mouth to heart center. Slowly and gently, allowing for the eyes to open and the room to come back into focus. It's been my honor and my pleasure. My light honors your light. My energy honors your energy. Namaste, friends. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. Again, my name is Janelle, and I'm with Cumberland Valley Martial Arts and Yoga Center, and I'm looking forward to aerial flowing with you again soon.